It's true. I've never made friends as good as the friends I had when I was 12 years old. Anyway, I like that thing. I can't keep... I can't get rid of it, even though Halloween's come and gone. But today, I got a package in the mailbox, and I want to show it to you. It was actually in the bin, and what really teased me, oh, is the bin is for books, but the neighbors sometimes get packages in the bin. That's my bin. It's for books. It's not for Amazon, your packages for the neighbors. It's not for their school books or any of that kind of stuff. Neighbors, I love you, but the bin is for books. And just kidding, the neighbors are cool. But I got a package, there were two of them for me in the bin. And uh, one of them, I'm gonna show it to you right now. I'm worried. Should I be? Of course I should be. It's fragile and it's got a hole in it. It says do not crush. And they didn't crush it. They just bah, gouged it. And I'm worried that I got a book in the mailbox and it's Rern. This is Stephen King's Different Seasons from PS Publications, PS Publishing. Ever hear of it? Well, I've gotten a couple of these already from them of Stephen King. And uh, one of them here, the first one that I got from them was Cujo. I think I showed this to you on a prior video. And then before this, the most recent one that I got was Needful Things. Glad to have it. Looks really good. PS did a great job with these and I did show you Needful Things. But here what I'm looking at is different seasons and I'm worried, concerned, stressed. But anyway, from, uh, from PS Publishing, I ordered this book May the 12th, 2023. It is now November 20th, 2023, and it's here. So there's other limited edition publishers that are publishing Stephen King books that you may have to wait six, seven, eight years to get the book. P.S. is getting it to you, getting it to me in a decent amount of time. I paid for this one in dollars, $186.79, and in pounds, that was 142.98. Uh, so... A little bit more than P.S. Publishing's books typically cost, but it is Stephen King, and they know that everybody's going to be wanting to buy them. They printed a thousand of them, and they sold them in uh, throughout the day at three different times. And it was a, as usual, it was a mad rush. People worried, scared, panicking, trying to get in. But uh, like I did for those two, I was able to get in and get me one coming. So it is Different Seasons, originally published in 1982. So it's been out for a little while. And uh, let's stop all this gab, gab, gabbing and get to work. I almost knocked over my pumpkin. Kid, kid made that for me. He, uh, he looked at the picture uh, at the beginning of the movie Halloween and he tried to paint it like this. And my wife said, no, don't do it like that. And the kid said, no. Dad likes Halloween, and that's what it looks like on Halloween. So the kid was right. He won, and uh, he is right. So what I'm trying to figure out right now is how do you open a box from PS Publishing? And I think, I think I may have found the secret. Yeah. All right, I've got the work done. Let's put that up. Pumpkin's in the way. Get this box open and see what the damage is like. Uh, I'm not too optimistic. I think I've got me a busted up book. I should have. Not that I deserve it, but by that big gash in there, that's what it looks like. Anyway, there's always a possibility that this little bit of paper protected me. Just not feeling it right now. But anyway, they did send it in a big box. PS did some good stuff here. They got paper wrapped around. Paper on top, paper on bottom, and then it's wrapped in cardboard. And maybe there's a possibility. So let's get it out of this cardboard. The problem is the book is in a slip case, and any damage to the slip case just sucks. But anyway, let's get it out. Stop worrying. Get it out. See what it looks like. 
And then if the milk is spilled, I will cry. So there is our receipt telling me how much I paid for it, which I already told you. And they got it to me quick. But seems like we dodged a bullet. I dodged a bullet. And there it is. Man, it looks good. Uh, on the shelf, it's going to look great on the shelf. There's our spine. And there is the slip case. One of the things that PS always seems to do is give you pretty, bright, shiny slip cases and pretty, bright, shiny dust jackets. And I dig it. I think they look really good. So I'll give PS Publishing credit for publishing books that look really good on the shelf. When you take them, open them up, they also still look good. So there is our slip case. It's a very thin paperboard type with a glossy uh, finish on it. And there is the Eli John artwork on the slip case. It looks the same on both sides. Some of you folks like to put your books on the shelves the wrong way. I am sorry, but there is nothing on the spine of the slip case except for PS. So you put it on the shelf the wrong way and that's what it's gonna look like. I didn't do it, I apologize. I put my books on the shelf the right way so you'll at least see. <laughs> anyway is the right way, sorry. Whatever you like to do is whatever you like to do. This is what it'll look like on my shelf. Look dandy, swell, the same size uh, essentially as the last two, which is nice. But here is our dust jacket artwork, that Eli John art. It is glossy on the dust jacket. And look at the details on that clock. It almost looks like a photograph. Flipping fabulous. Good work, Eli John. If you're watching, if you're listening, great work. And then on the back, who dat? Who dat? Busy at work. And uh, cover art by Eli John, cover design by Michael Smith. Now, one other thing that I've known PS Publishing to do is you take off that dust jacket and put it in a safe place. You have, I don't know, I call it a library binding. Maybe I'm wrong, but you have the artwork on the cover as well. Sometimes it's different. Sometimes it's the same, but the book cover has the illustrations on it too. It does look good. And if you were to post this without your slipcase, you get the artwork there with no lettering or anything like that. So you do have options and it's nice and illustrated in papers. I dig it, man. I dig it. Uh, looks good. I dig it the most. One of the things that we want to look at here is the binding. We have here is our binding and you can also see the built in ribbon page marker. Uh, so they make good looking books. They're not going to compare in quality to some of your more premium publishers, but they're just good books and I like the looks and I buy them. I buy a variety of them, not just the Stephen King stuff, which I dig because of the price, the uh, print run of a thousand and then the fact that they get them out to you, I dig it. But I bought other books. This one is limited to a thousand copies. Mine is number 107 and there is the illustrated signature page. It is signed by the artist, Eli John. It did a great job so far. I've seen some of the illustrations in this book. I don't know if I've seen them all, but we'll show them all to you if I can find them. But before I wanna do that, I'm sure most of you are familiar with this book, Different Seasons. It's a collection of four novellas and some of them became big in the movies as well. You ever heard of a movie called The Shawshank Redemption? Well, that's here. You ever hear of a movie called Stand By Me from 1986? I'll dig the movie. Well, that's here again. And, and uh, there's four novellas in here. Uh, we'll look at them. Hope Springs Eternal, Rita Hayworth, and The Shawshank Redemption. Each one is represented by a seasonal title or subtitle. Summer of Corruption, that is Apt Pupil. Fall from Innocence, The Body. And then A Winter's Tale, The Breathing Method, as well as Afterward. And the Afterword is written by Stephen King, Love and Good Wishes, Stephen King, January 4th, 1982, Bangor, Maine. So neat. It looks good. I want to find some of these illustrations, and then we'll let you go. How's that sound? So I think I can find them. Uh, some of them will be easy. Some of them not so easy. And here's all neat. So on the back here, we have illustrations here. When I flip this page, we have illustration there 
very good very cool and what else i might not be able to find them all just by flipping through so i got i didn't get very far in and i found that so i'm gonna keep trying see what else i can catch seems to be a lot of art in this book there's something to behold man i don't know how many they they put in here i don't know if ps even said but i'm finding illustrations long before i think i'm gonna find them in here just shock full of artwork i think uh i think ps has delivered i'm look there i'm barely into the book and i'm already overwhelmed with illustration <laughs> overwhelmed uh i i'm afraid i might not be able to find them all as many as there are but i'll show you what i can find if you're not interested in seeing the illustrations then just cover your eyes darling and uh listen but so many so much artwork it looks so nice i got you oh i'm passing them man i i'm not gonna be able to find them all because i do one little flippity doo ya, and boom i miss artwork but it's just so much i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to do it i'm gonna try so much artwork in here eli john got worked hard worked hard worked to death but i think he's still alive i follow him on the facebook and he's always posting stuff about his artwork and uh he did a lot of work for this one i'll tell you that right now great looking book i was excited hoping to be able to get a copy of different seasons from ps publishing they went up for sale so this was a score for me glad to be able to get one hopefully you got one too and if you didn't and you want it i hope you can find one at a reasonable price without getting your pants pulled down uh, but sometimes with the stephen king limited editions Sometimes you just got to pay more you know, on the secondary market. And that's just the way it goes. There's a lot of people looking for a limited number of books, which is part of the game when you're collecting limited edition books. Well, that's just part of the package. The limited <laughs> is built in. But yeah, I'm not even halfway through yet. And uh, so much artwork in here. I don't know if I've ever gotten... If I have, I don't remember which, an illustrated book with so many illustrations in it. And I feel like I'm either missing them or they're starting to slow down a little bit. But man, I like this artwork. I like so much of it. You're getting your money's worth. And one thing I'm noticing here, something interesting about the, the way this book's made. As I'm flipping through, I got the end pages are kind of curled. Uh, anyway, yeah. It's dry in here, so it must just be part of the book. The end papers are kind of thin, and they're printed. Maybe it's the way they're printed that makes them do that. But sitting on the shelf long enough, they'll straighten out. I'm sure. Almost, almost missed a good one here. I don't want to miss pictures in the book. And I'm worried as I am keep grabbing it, I'm scared I'm going to fold that page over. So remind me. If I start to grab it and fold it over, say, hey, whoa, there you go. Some familiar images there. Man, great artwork. This uh, this thing is exceeding expectations for me. And you, you buy, I buy this book. I expect to see a handful of pictures in it. And they've gone way above and beyond what I've expected, at least anyway, in terms of the artwork. And that when you're buying books like this, a lot of the major benefit, you get a slip case that looks good, good looking dust jacket, but man, you can go to Barnes and Noble and stores like that and find some good looking books. But when a publisher pays the money to an artist, I think I've just skipped a couple already, pays the money to an artist to, to make illustrations for books and so many of them, it just really makes it a much much better experience as a as a reader as a an owner opening that book up and looking through it for the first time it's nice to get more than than expected when you pay that kind of money there could be a situation where you feel a little bit of buyer's remorse and if the book doesn't meet expectations well that just sucks if it does meet expectations well you're kind of right where you started from but then when you get all this extra stuff all this artwork is just mind-boggling uh, and here we are taking a while, but I'd like to show you what I'm seeing. So hopefully, hopefully you can look here and appreciate what PS has put together for us. 
I know I'm glad. I, I love this artwork. I, I People can be mixed on different artists. Sometimes uh, guys like Dylan Chadbourne, he's got his fans, he's got his detractors. I'm sure Eli John is the same. It's a different style. Person's got their own methods, their own style. And if you don't like it, well, you're not gonna, just not going to like the rest of it. But uh, I really am digging this. I, my taste and your taste may differ. And I'm looking at this artwork here, and I like it. it. It helps to tell a story. It looks good. And there's just so much of it. Anyway, we're just about to the end of this book. 544 pages, and I'm on page 500. And I, I've lost track of how many illustrations I've shown you. But it's been a bunch, way more than I ever expected to get in this book. Uh, obviously, I think I've already expressed that. But man, P.S. did a great job. It's a great set of stories. I think Different Seasons is a, is a big one for a lot of folks. In part, because of the movies, perhaps. And what kind of iconic movies are they? Uh, the, the two that I mentioned, The Shawshank Redemption and Stand By Me. I mean, those two iconic films are big time in the psyche of a whole lot of people there's a lot of people out there that will say the best movie ever made was shawshank redemption you look it up on the internet movie database and it's one of the top ones if not the top one and stand by me for people like me who grew up in the 80s born in the 70s grew up in the 80s so much of that stuff is just like home it's like remembering the way things were and so it's a big deal for a lot of people too and this book spawned some of those iconic films uh, and, and great ones. So Stephen King has written some great stories and great books that spawned some pretty crappy films. But those were two great ones. And I think that's part of what makes this collection so important to a whole lot of people. Anyway, all that being said, I feel fortunate that I was able to get one without having to go on the secondary and pay double or more on the price. I'm glad I was able to get it in the house, get it on the shelf, and add it to the collection. And I'm glad you tuned in. Thank you for your time. I do truly appreciate it. But I can think of no more lies to tell. So with that, we'll just go. Say la vie, baby. Titty.